Hey guys, it's Matchy here with another Clip Studio Paint tutorial for you. Today we're going to be talking about the subview. This is actually a feature that I didn't realize existed until quite recently. Um, I was answering a question on the Deviant Art Forum, and the question was actually ended up being about the Navigator. Um, but they were thinking that the Navigator should was the subview. And so the answer to the question was, you're looking for the navigator, but it got me looking at the sub view and I had no idea what it was and what it was for. And so I kind of was checking it out and then I kind of did a little more research online about it. And uh, I found out it's kind of a really cool, useful tool. And I thought I'd share with you what you can use it for. So um, you'll find it over here, but you know, everybody's setup's different. So if you need, if you're looking for it, you can go window, and then down here, right underneath the navigator is sub view. So I'll turn it off and I'll turn it back on so you can see. There it is. And what you do is, what it is basically is it's a way of having your reference, any reference material you want um, to use while you're working on your, on your canvas. It's a way to have it available to you um, without having to, you know, put the put it on its own layer and have it actually on your canvas or flip back and forth between documents and sometimes even a whole other software so um, let me show you what you do so you have your sub view here um, at the bottom here you have some options and one of those options is a folder and, I, and if you have nothing in here that's going to be the only one um, available to you so you click on that and then and what you'll do is you go to open up whatever reference item you want. And I haven't tested everything, but I can tell you for sure it works with Clip Studio's own documents, um, JPEGs, um, I'm sure, I don't, let's see, what are the supported formats actually? So all Clip Studio, all the Clip Studio formats, BMP, JPEG, Ping, TIFF, Targa, IBS, IBIS Paint artwork files, Illa Studio document, I mean stuff I don't even know. And um, the other big one is Photoshop documents. So you can open up your Photoshop documents um, and then it, it'll appear over here. And the cool thing is, is you can open up more than one. So let's say I want to open up this whole page here and let's say another page. This one's a clip studio. So now we have, that's taking a little longer cause it's a big file, but there it is. So you'll have this over here as a reference, which you can, you know, of course, uh, make as big or as small as you desire. And, um, it, and it allows you to look at your reference while you're working. And, and it's got all the, the tools here that you need. So um, you, know, you can zoom, um, you can go back and forth between all your different pages. Um, I saw when I was looking online about it, I saw further information that you can, I mean, I saw an example of where you could, it had rotating tools here. I don't have it in my version, not sure why. So if you have that, that's cool. Lucky you. Um, so that's pretty cool. And you got, you got the zoom slider here. And then if you just want to fit it back to your window, you can hit this fit to navigator window, which you can hit the fit to navigator window if you actually click it right. <laughs> so, but the coolest thing for me is, and this is where I will, where I will use it, is right over here you have this eyedropper. And you click this and no matter what you are over here, because over here I'm a paintbrush. Paintbrush. But you come over here and say you have another page you're working on, you want to grab a color from, you have the eyedropper automatically open there and boom. Come back over here, boom. Come back over here, boom. I think you get the picture. So that's what's really cool for me because actually this last set, the pages that you're seeing the example of here, I had like all the pages open when I was coloring. So, and I was just going back and forth and, and grabbing different colors. And I, I did make a custom palette at one point, I got so fed up, but that, that actually was a lot more work than, than really needed. And um, it's actually was more confusing to me than, than necessary. So this is a really cool tool, especially for me, especially for coloring, because I can just grab the colors I want. 
um, directly from say the previous page I colored and uh, and use them so anyhow that's pretty much it in a nutshell um, if you want to get I don't know if I showed you, oh, yeah, I showed you that um, and then if you want to get rid of them obviously you just hit the garbage can garbage can that one's taking long oh it's taking longer to, to load that clip studio because my, that's a lot it's a giant file with a lot of layers that's actually my full production right there <laughs> so delete that um yep yeah, so it's cool and i think i want to say let's try it out i haven't even tried it yet you can grab multiple pages all at once so if you just want to just grab all your stuff all at once it'll all load up in there for you so super cool um hopefully this is helpful to you i i cannot wait to be working on my next set of comic pages and and use this tool i that's absolute truth there this is this has been like a revelation for me so i hope you guys can uh use this yourself thanks for watching this tutorial i'm going to be coming back with more so you should definitely hit that subscribe button i also on this channel do uh traditional art and some speed paints well sp sped up paints and i'm very active on instagram my name there is matchy.art so go ahead and follow me there and you can keep up to date with everything i'm doing and i just want to say thanks for watching and i hope that you all learned something today